Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, my YouTube channel. I'm back today to talk about something that most people don't even think about, and maybe you do, but most of us aren't prepared for the fact that when we're dealing with collection accounts, different debt collectors of every flavor, really collection agencies, debt buyers, collection law firms, they're all pretty much gauging how collectible you are to them based on tools available to them. Some of that is the fact that they subscribe to collection scoring tools available to them through like Experian or LexisNexis. But guess what? Beyond that, they're looking many times at your social media. One of the things, if I were a debt collector, I never have been, but if I were, I would absolutely try to use all of the tools at my disposal to better help me understand what I should be able to collect from this person whose account I'm working or who called me, or me as a negotiator calling a debt collector on your behalf, I need to be cognizant of the things that they see. So oftentimes I'm asking you when I'm on the phone with you, when I'm working for you, hey, so what's, are you working? Did you lose your job? Is that what led to your inability to pay? And then did you get a new job? Okay, well, is that in LinkedIn, right? Because they're gonna look at LinkedIn, or at least they have the opportunity to look at that kind of thing. Other social media posts that they can find about you, what if you have a pin up on Pinterest about a recent vacation you took? And what if the location is something of an expensive place to be or go to? Sometimes that looks like somebody who isn't in a hardship, so somebody who should be able to pay a little bit more, right? Um, there's talking points for things that I might find as a debt collector about you on your social media, like a vacation. How do they know you didn't get that paid for because of all the stress and things you're going through from a family member and things like that? So you can work around some of that stuff. But like if you're, because I publish so many DIY tutorials about how to settle your own debt on my YouTube channel and articles on our website, a lot of people aren't prepared for the fact that they're telling a debt collector that they're not working and yet here's your LinkedIn profile showing you just got a job, you know, two, three months ago and it's right there visible for them to see. So if you have a job, don't lie about not having a job, right? If you uh, have social media posts that are in the recent past that are going to impact your ability to convey what it is that you're going through doesn't delegitimize anything that you're going through or any of the hardships that led to your inability to pay. It's just the perception that they're going to take away from some of the things that they'll find about you on your social media. Some things we can't undo, and it, again, you just have to find a way to talk around those things. Many of us, including yours truly, I'm not really active in social media, right? So other than my LinkedIn profile, there's not a lot to see about me, Michael Bovey, while there might be some about the company, Consumer Recovery Network. Anyway, it's something that I wanna share with you because a lot of people, sometimes I get reports back from people I've coached or responded to in an email chain or certainly in the comments below on these videos and something's not going quite right and it's hard to pin it down because I'm not, they're not my customer, I'm not doing the one-on-one -on -one with them, but um, some of the times it can be something visible to a debt collector. Be aware, like and subscribe to these videos. I'll see you on the next one.